have reason to grieve. But you said you were the resurrection and the life. And though we were dead, yet shall you live. So God, in the midst of death, we are in life. And in the midst of life, we are in death. We do seek succor in the O oh Lord. We feel you, Father. We feel your presence in this house. As you breathe on this mother and this father and these siblings and all of us that are hurting. You've been our help. In ages past, you are help now. You are a rock. You are a fortress. You are a shield. And God, we say thank you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Our souls bless you. Our souls do bless you. On this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. That we can rely on you. To bear our burdens. We rely on you. To carry us in.
us. We would. But we can't. But I know somebody. Whatever I say. Not only no life, but no death. And I'm grateful that I trust him. I trust him. In times like these. These are days none of us wish. To assemble like this. But nevertheless. Some of us are getting to see a sign of God we ain't never seen before. Somebody might say, I ain't never heard it like this. But you ain't never seen this sign of God before. And as I say, trust Him in times like this. All our hearts are broken. But nevertheless, He'll lead us in a plain path. It didn't shock him. Amen. We're here this afternoon and for a celebration of life. For Tevin James Mackey. Amen. Amen. If you can find a way, give God a way. in times like this. Look, God Almighty, it confuses the enemy when we still can pray
the fact that Tevin had gone on to be with the Lord, but we are celebrating Tevin's life and we are blessing God that he gave his life to us. And so, as the scripture says in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, we will trust the Lord at all times. And his praises, we will bless the Lord at all times in Psalm 34. And in, in Proverbs, tell us we will trust him with all of our heart and we will lean not unto our own understanding. But in all of our ways, we will acknowledge him and allow him to direct our path. And so on this date, today, Lord, on this very day that we celebrate the life of Tevin, Father, we lift up this service and we lift up this family and everyone that is here on today, we lift them up and we present them unto you. Father, we are giving everything, every part of us unto you today because only you know how to comfort only you know how to give strength, how strength is needed. Only you can give peace as peace is needed. And only you know how to bring us through the times that we are facing. And so, Lord God, we lift up this family before you. We lift up this service before you on today. We lift up the man of God as Pastor Malcolm will come to give the words of comfort anoint him fresh and anew today with the word that is needful for his family and for each and every one of us that's here on today. Everyone that will take part, every singer, every minister, everything that will be done. Father, we pray that it will be done unto your glory and according to your will and your purpose. Father, we right now, we ask that even in the midst of this service and the days ahead, that you will minister to you and wrap your arms around Apostle Marlene and Brother Menzel and Lashanda and all of the family, all of the aunties, all of the aunts, all of the nieces, nephews, cousins, this entire family, the church family and all extended. Father, wrap your arms like never before and comfort. Release the spirit of comfort. In the name of Jesus. And may everything be done to your glory, your honor, and your praise. In Jesus' name. Amen.
So we are going to bless his name this afternoon. Give him praise. When I saw Sir Mandela praising God as he recovered his child up, I said that that's long enough for any of us to say I'll forever praise the name of Jesus because Jesus is still good all by himself. Our Holy Scripture will be coming at this time. The Old Testament Apostle went to the Macintyre and the New Testament Minister Clifton Fawcett and the Prayer of Comfort will be coming from Apostle Bernice Davis in that order. Praise the Lord. We're going to read the 23rd Psalm, verse 1 through 6, out of the Passion Translation. Right, Yahweh is my best friend and my shepherd. I always have more than enough. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks takes me to an oasis of peace near the quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me the right path and leads me along in his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Even when your path takes me through the valley of deepest darkness, fear will never conquer me, for you already have. Your authority is my strength and my peace. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely, for you are near you become my delicious peace even when my enemies dare to fight you anoint me with the fragrance of your Holy Spirit you give me all I can drink of you until my cup overflows so why would I fear the future only goodness and tender love pursue me all the days of my life. Then afterward, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence to be forever with you. The 23rd Psalm, verse 1 through 6, the Passion Translation. I love you. It's not easy, but it is possible. First Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning at verse 13, says, but I would not have you ignorant or misinformed, brethren, concerning them who are asleep, that you shall not 
even as those who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them who also are alive shall God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not see death. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall arise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. It'll work if you believe. God bless you.
give your name the praise. We thank you for his mama. We thank you for his parents that raised him and did all they know to do. But God, you saw fit to come and get him. And he's resting in you.
District Youth Baseball. At this time, the Lancaster County School District and co-workers are coming. Thank you all for showing up. Thank you all. Come on, let's thank God for them all. You're welcome to come up if you want to come down. God bless you. Good afternoon, people. Uh, I want to give God praise because I didn't know how I was going to get up and do this. But that's, my, uh, that's my riding partner, like a brother, fed each other. And, uh, I called him one day. It was on Thanksgiving. And I told him, I said, oh, man, I need your help. I'm at the store. Somebody about to jump on me. <laughs> FaceTime, I can see his face, and he said, man, I don't fight on holidays. <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> that was my God, man. To the family, my condolences, prayers, my child, I love y'all. The best thing I can do, I will. say something to the pastor of this church, to the family, to all my co-workers. Will y'all stand up? Co-workers, all of y'all stand up. I thought we were going to have to buy a 
another weed or something real light. I thought maybe it was going to be kind of heavy for him. I said, man, you're going to have to pick up a little bit of weight, man. He didn't look at me. But it's like she said, anytime you say something to him bad, whatever, he ain't going to get mad. He always going to scratch his head. Scratch his head. But uh, I'm going to make sure he going to be the best and we all miss him. The Bruceville District Music Baseball. <laughs> well, he's not able to come, so I'm going to represent him because. Uh, I was the chief umpire for Louisville Dixie Baseball. I go back and say about Tevin that uh, he started umpiring when he was 18, as soon as he uh, got out of high school. Him and uh, his partner was D. It was always Tevin and D. When Tevin first started calling games, I said, Tevin, now, you got to be loud. I said, if you don't even know the rules, you act like you know what you're doing. When you be loud, it ain't going to mess with you. <laughs> I said, man. You get the rules as you progress, but tell me, you know, he, he always stay in one spot. He go stand there, he go. You <laughs> <laughs> won't say that. I said, tell me. I said, you got to be loud. Act like you know what you're doing when you don't know what you're doing. And, but he was a good one. He stayed with me, but every year he said, I'm going to quit. But my son stayed there nine years. But every year, he's working. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. We thank God for the remarks. And truly, it blessed us just to hear your memories and your experience with heaven. As we go farther, the program calls for us for Pastor Monica Robinson family. Following this election, the word of comfort is coming from Pastor Michael Williams. And I'm grateful for this young man as we pray God's strength as he stands for us to break the bread of life and to let us know he's his brother. But he's going to stand and proclaim the word of the Lord. Now tell the word of God is right all by itself. As Pastor Monica bless us with the selection, we're going to turn the service over into hands of Pastor Malcolm Williams of the Master's Next Dimension Ministry here in the state.
it's wrong. But the Bible declares that we have to build our life on the rock. With the understanding of knowing who that rock is. See, it's not, a, it's not, it's not something that we see outside on, on, in the ground that, that we pick up and toss when we are kids. But no, you, you, you got to build your life on the fact that Jesus is the Son of God and that He came and died and He rose from the dead and He's now seated at the right hand of the Father. See, verse number 25 it says, And the rains descended. Those of you that are looking at me right now, I want you to understand that the rain if it's not raining today, the rain is going to come. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I don't know where you are. What's happening right now in your life? But the rain of life is going to come, and I don't even get moved by the rain because I know everything that happened in this earth realm it is to get me back to my Father, my God. That's why I can't allow.
said to the, to, to the ones that were listening, he said, heaven and earth is going to pass away. But my word, but my word is going to stay forever, which leads me into message number two.
spirit, man. Everybody, we are mankind. Just like y'all, I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help you real quick. Because I'm trying to help you real quick. Just like a dog. You have a dog is a dog. You have a male dog and a female dog. So man, you have a male and a female man. All of us are mankind. Right? Quick study. Listen. Verse number eight. Listen at verse number eight. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable murderers, sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second Word of caution. That, that, that this death right here is only a gateway to get into him. The Bible declares to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But 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 if we haven't if, if, if we haven't taken caution on the earth, if we if we haven't Listen to what God has said. He said in verse number 8, he says, But all cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their place or their part in the lake of fire, which is the second death. I want you to think about it. I'm almost done. Matthew chapter 7. Verse number 13 and 14. It talks about the narrow way. I, I was, I was, when I first started preaching, and all of us have a black book that we use, that we do weddings and funerals, and when you study those, it says in there to the upcoming minister, when you are ministering at a funeral such as this that we have to offer Christ and salvation to those that are listening. Amen. But it teaches us that. Y'all know, y'all know, you understand? Because a lot of times we'll come in and we'll get the music going, the drums, and we listen in comfort and we never hear caution. And people can come in and cry and leave out the same way and they're on their way that second death. Matthew chapter 7. So I'm talking to everybody, not just the visitors, I'm talking to family as well. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14, it says the narrow way. And it says, enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many. Who go in by it. Who are the ones that go in the broad, the wide way. Are those of us that will not adhere to the word of God. Those that will not listen and say, well, God understands. And God could not be one that have commands that keep me from being in love or loving or having the desires that I want in my heart. But God is so gracious that God will say to us, I will teach you life and life more abundantly. But you have to walk according to my ways and according to my laws. It's the same way you raise your children. You wouldn't let your child run in traffic and play in traffic. So why are many of us playing with our life? Why are we playing with our life saying, just want to be me. I gotta just live my life. Well, if you live your life, then there is a second death greater than this one. That's cool. Now, I'm 
close it. Verse number 14, it says, Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. It's difficult to the flesh. And there are few who find. There are many of us in the room at this moment. And we receive the word of comfort. But I'm asking you today, those of you that are under the sound of my voice, receive the word of caution. There are many age groups in here. There are some that's older, some younger, some black, some white, some male, some female that's in this room. Some that just gave their life to Christ and those that have been in the things of God and walked away and those that have been steadfast for a long time. There are many spiritual levels in this room right now. I just want to raise the question before I give up this one. What if what God said is true? What if? What if? What if it's true? What if there really is a hell? What if? What if? I'm not telling you what to believe. I just want to raise a what if before I give this mic up. What if God requires us to live our lives the way that he has ordained? What if? I choose to believe. I don't have my Bible, but it's on here. I choose to believe the word. Amen. I choose to believe the word that I need to say. I choose to believe the word that there is a heaven and there is a hell. I, I, I choose to believe the word that God said that I sent before you. Set before you today, life and death. You choose. I believe the word. For those of you that don't believe, what if you're wrong? Listen, listen to this. If what I believe is not true, I don't have anything to lose. Turn 
ain't trying to control your life and God is not evil. God is trying to lead us to life and life more abundantly and everlasting life with Him. I believe that. I believe that with all of my heart. And I say again to you, if it ain't true, I have nothing to lose. But if it is true, you have everything to lose. I've heard people say, especially this young crazy generation, and if I go to hell, I'm just going to hell. You don't know what you're saying. You, you, you don't know what you're saying. It's the, it's the people that hear you. You old and still living your life the way you want to live it. It's time for us to get it to It's time for you to see. I'm going to say this and I promise you I'm sitting down with apostle, but we done got into a place in the church where we preach about money all the time.
That's just the reality of it. But if we don't lose, we are not ones that are in this position without hope. Our hope is in Christ. Amen? Amen. Come on, clap your hands.
area cleared, and they'll be coming this way with the casket. Oh.